Great Speaking rest. of ribbon, all right, here we go. It's 94.9 The Rock, GTA's rock station. It's Bob here with the Dirty Nil. We're backstage at the Music Hall. Guys, thank you so much for doing this today. Our pleasure. Thank Thanks, you very Bob. much for having us. Uh, so the album came out on Friday. Yes. And how's the reaction been? I mean, I don't want to, <laughs> I, I don't want to speak early, but I think it's they're gonna have to invent a new award because of this album. Yeah. At the Grammys this year. I like it. And and now now that uh, I can be on record here, um, I just want to send out an apology for all the other bands who put out a record the same day as ours. Uh, there's gonna be more time to listen to them later. I You'll swear. You'll be able to get yeah, to them later. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. No, it's true. It's unfair. Well, I'll say this. Uh, what's up with Hamilton bringing the heat with music lately? Like you guys are Hamilton are originally from Hamilton is that the or well, we, we are we yeah are. we grew up in Dundas you guys grew up in Dundas we're also from Welland I like you know there's chemicals in the air down there's there. something down I was going to say there's, there's more lead in the pipes is that what it is I is think it, so, it's actual, so yeah. the, the metal is actually infusing yes. the metal as it were no yeah. like you know monster truck uh, um, uh, Arkells you guys like there's something happening in that town like were you guys like discovered there did you come to toronto like how did it how did it all work out like was it i think generally i, I think in terms of the team that we've built uh, a lot of the connections we built in toronto but our management and stuff is based in hamilton and yeah some of our more uh close relationships and uh, business partners are all in hamilton so right. yeah it's definitely been crucial in terms of building a team does it kind of suck to say business partners when we're talking rock and roll i love it I don't no know. you know oh, good we're, we're you're a part business. of it right yeah well you are a business we're in it the is business of rock and roll uh, you guys have had a lot of buzz about you for a long time. Was there pressure with this full, this big album coming out with this, with the one that was released on Friday? Apologies to other artists, of course. Apologies to other artists. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. <laughs> Don't um, worry. I mean, I think that once we, uh, once we had finished the crop of songs and the the amount of time that we had put into making the songs, I think we had nothing but excitement and confidence towards the future. I, I think that uh, we knew that we had a ripper of an album. You knew it. Yeah. Oh do you yeah. know when you're, when you're the writing process, like, do you know when one's going to oh, be? Oh, hell yeah. You yeah? know, you know, yeah, for sure. You look at each other in the jam station, you laugh and it's like, like this yeah. is good. This is the it. kids are going to love the this kids, one. The kids are going to love this one. I usually cry. Do you cry? Yeah. You actually get emotional? It gets and... extremely emotional. Yeah. I'm sure it Tender. is. I can't, I have yeah. to lock myself in a dark room for a couple of days. Yeah. 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 And now you guys are off it's to Germany. Lot. We are. Are you guys huge in Germany? Is that... <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it's us and David Hasselhoff. That's right. Exactly. End of story. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, as this, the, you guys have been there before. You guys Many are just a touring band, right? Like, oh, li- yeah. the, I, my understanding, because I've been lucky enough to see you guys before. The be- like the album's great, but the best incarnation of the Dirty Nil is live Dirty Nil. Would you we agree are with a that? Live beast for sure. Yeah. yeah. We'll yes. Save the best for that. Save the best for that. Yeah. yeah. Um, in fact, I believe Uprox I just got from your Facebook page, not on my way over here either. Uh, but it said that it's a, uh, uh, I, they put, you guys are putting a punk spin on arena rock. Would you agree with that statement? I mean, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. We love the who. But I was going to say, what did you grow up? What did you guys grow up listening to? Like, what we, were your- I grew up on classic rock and, uh, I mean, I remember kind of di- discovering Nirvana when I was about 12 or yep. so, but I mean, when we were around 12, 13, 14 is when there was kind of a renaissance in guitar music happening. Yep. It was, it was kind of on cycle. So, I mean, like school of rock came out. Okay. So yeah, so there was the talking- strokes and yep. the yeah, early 2000s. Yeah, yeah. All these yeah. kinds of different the stripes, the yeah. vines, the hives, all the, all the bands, all the, the bands. Exactly. <laughs> So all we got to see guys. all that stuff happen. Yeah. Um, I mean, we discovered, we were also part of the first YouTube generation. So yeah. we were able to discover rock and roll from eras gone by uh, through video format, which I think really indoctrinated us in a, pe- a very powerful well, way. Well, obviously, uh, uh, visuals are important. I mean, that jacket kicks ass. Thank right? you very so, much. Yeah. yeah, I like it. And the, the uh, You know what? People aren't here to listen to me talk to you. They're here, out here literally to uh to listen to you guys live thank you very much next time you're in town come back again come back yeah. and uh we uh we're really looking forward to seeing you live and uh, all the best i'm really looking forward to seeing and hearing more stuff from you guys well all thank right, you very sure. much Bob. thank you Thanks, very Bob. much cheers